Today, you want to make sure you're drawing with a black permanent marker to draw your fox. You're going to use a crayon or a color pencil if you don't have a black permanent marker. Now let's look at how I am using some basic lines and shapes to draw my fox. Notice the size of my fox and how he is taking up most of the space on my paper. Notice how simple the lines and shapes are. And you can find a step-by-step -step guide of directions in this week's lesson plan. So remember to make sure you're looking at that guide. And remember, if you wanna make some small changes to yours, you can, but that guide will help you. There's also a guide that shows you lots of different um, types of shapes and patterns you can use to create your own folk art designs inside the shape of your fox's body. So you're welcome to use that guide and design inside of your fox using the lines and shapes there, or you can you know, come up with your own. Now notice how I'm coloring in some of the shapes black and then making some of the lines thicker as well. And this is because I'm really playing around with the use of positive and negative space. So I want you to make sure that you pick some of your shapes, like I did the inside of the heart or the little circles on the tail, um, and you color them in. And then make some of your lines thicker than others. Now pick one of the patterns off of that handout or come up with one you know design of your own and fill the background with that pattern so here I chose what looks like a leaf it's an oval or a football kind of the shape of a football actually with a line through it and it represents a leaf and notice how I am scattering them all over the background in different sizes and turning them in different directions now I'm going to take a red Crayola washable marker. If you do not have a red Crayola washable marker, use another coloring tool that is red. Color very, very carefully inside the shape of your fox, making sure that you are careful to color around each shape so that you leave those shapes white, the ones that you decided not to color in black. So notice how you see the little tree design, the shapes going up the tail. Look at how I'm carefully coloring around each shape and then in between it. Also be very careful with the face and make sure you just color in the fur in between his eyes and um, the outer part of his ear. Then you wanna take that same um, red marker and you want to color in the designs you put in the background. Take your Sharpie and just touch up any little finishing touches you need to touch up and then take your red marker and draw a frame around your finished piece of work. Don't forget to share a picture with me. I can't wait to see your fox. <laughs>